Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is Dee, and I am back from Pittsburgh. And I had a great time, I did lots of fun things, and now I am very excited to be presenting a short demo by the name of Der Gross Gottlieb from Daniel Ernst, the designer of Blocked In, which was one of the most popular demos for the Oculus Rift Development Kit 1 back when it was still pretty new. Uh, this is his second work. Uh, he's been making a series of works that he calls the Shoebox Diorama. Blocked In was the first, this is the second, and he's working on another one that's going to be larger called Pigeon Man, about which I know nothing. Um, if you're looking for news about the Oculus Rift development coup to the next version of the Oculus Rift, um, there hasn't been a lot. It was planned to be shipping in the middle of this week, so like today, we should get some news. Um, there was one person who got their Oculus Rift DK2. They were a student who was enrolled in the Facebook um, uh, Open, uh, Open Academy program, uh, which is for uh, students at university studying software engineering to get involved in open source projects. And this is one of the things they got as... Um, as a as a way of helping them get started with developing so um, they posted unboxing photos it was pretty cool and I'll link those in the description if you want to check them out now Daniel Anst is an artist from the Netherlands he is Dutch and blocked in if you haven't seen it I did a video on it when I was first starting up my channel to this day it's still one of my favorite vid uh, favorite demos for the rift um, he describes it as a diorama and this is an interesting choice of words and a very deliberate choice of words. Um, he actually based it on his personal experience with, um, with this diorama in a place called the Efteling. Uh, the Efteling is a park which is based on uh, designs by the illustrator Anton Pieck, who is a Dutch illustrator. And uh, it, has this little, it has this little diorama with all these little uh, European fairy tales going on. You can just sit and stare at it and it keeps moving and it never stops. And he wanted to make a VR experience that was like that, where you can sit in this room and look all around you and things are going on and it never stops. And, you know, it's, it's interesting if you look at Blocked In, how the Tetris blocks keep falling outside the window. You would think, well, the city's going to be crushed under Tetris blocks and then we're all going to die and the demo will be over. But that never happens. The blocks just keep falling forever. And this was very intentional. He wanted to make something that would just keep going and that you could just kind of sit there and enjoy for as long as you like. And I know people who have spent, you know, just a long time and blocked in just chilling and looking out the window. And I think that was very much his intention. Um, likewise, this is also a diorama and it will have that same kind of um, ongoing quality to it. Um, so this was uh, the, the point of Der Gross Gottlieb is it's about an acrobat who decided to build a enormous tower of chairs that was super like miles and miles tall so tall that he could reach the stars and like see the whole world from the top it's uh, very fantastical obviously and um, and it was actually uh, first shown at the Amaze Festival in Berlin which was back at the beginning of April so he said quite bit of time to refine it since then for the public version. When it's shown at festivals and shows, he does it along with a physical installation where you sit atop an actual small tower of chairs and you have a fan in back of you and a microphone underneath you. Um, the fan just creates a sensation of wind being up high in the atmosphere. Uh, the tower of chairs makes you feel like you're really on top of the tower of chairs. And the microphone is so that sound from the environment can be filtered in. And I'll show you how that works. I'm actually going to be using it with my own microphone here. And uh, the, the idea is that depending on which way you're looking, you hear either more or less of your environmental noise from the real world, which can be really interesting in shows where there's a lot of environmental noise. Without further ado, let's jump into Der Gross Gottlieb. All right, here I am in Der Gross Gottlieb. And holy shit, I am high. I am super high up. I am looking down at mountains. Is that, is that the moon or the sun? Whatever it is, it's big. And wow, apparently, apparently I have, whoa, that's precarious. Okay, so I got a lamp up here and this convenient table with a gramophone playing. 
And my letters keep blowing away and falling down into the abyss. And yet I never run out of letters. That is cool. When I look towards the gramophone, of course, I hear it playing very distinctly. I like my little, I want to reach out and grab that feather and uh, grab that and just start writing on this paper. What does that say? I can't read it. I've got this candle in that bottle. Oh, and the clocks, mo the, the hands of the clock are moving. That is so cool. And it's just going to keep going round and round. I, I believe both hands are moving. I might be mistaken. I've got a corkscrew. That must be from the bottle that I put the candle in. A nice, it must be a wine bottle, and I have a nice glass of wine here. A classical photograph, I don't know who that's of. And of course, above us, we have the stars. Notice something, when I look straight down, I hear my voice quite distinctly when I'm talking. It's like my voice is coming from below, but when I look straight up, I can't hear my voice now. Everything is peaceful above me and the stars the interesting thing about the stars here is normally when you look up at the night sky the stars are far away but these stars they really look close enough that you can reach out and grab them and take them down out of the sky and that's that's just representing how how ridiculously high up we are we are literally up with the stars in the sky And you can hear the chairs constantly creaking. I'm just going to trust that Der Gross Gottlieb knows what he's doing when he built this tower of chairs and that it's not going to tumble to earth. I can see the chair I'm sitting in. I don't even know how that chair is standing up. So yeah, this is... This is really nice, and as much if not more than blocked in, I think this is really the kind of demo where you could just sit back and relax and be like, yes, I have my glass of wine, I have my beautiful stars within feet over my head, twinkling, and I have the world below me, and I can just chill here, watch my letters fly to earth, listen to music. And it's a, it's a very peaceful experience. And also very unique and creative. And I, like, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'd say it's better or worse than Blocked In. I think they're both great experiences. And they're, they're both very different. And it's really just, I, I think everybody should try these. Um, I, Daniel Ernst, when he made Blocked In at the time, Diorama experiences like this didn't really exist. He was the first. And it went on to be imitated by a lot of other developers. For example, um, uh, some of the uh, anime-based uh, demos that were made by uh, Redipaw, like the, the Boiler Room and Todoro. Um, especially the Boiler Room. In the Boiler Room, you could go and, um, and see the little soot mites moving the, the coal to the fire and they would just keep doing that forever and you could walk around and explore the room while they do that. I think Daniel Ernst is very deliberately going for avoiding any kind of controls other than looking around because he wants to make it a very simple universal type experience that anybody can try without having to be familiar with locomotion in a video game. It might change when we get like actual VR rooms that you can walk around in with full positional tracking, like the Valve room. And in that case, I can imagine him making one that you might walk around inside. It's actually... Ooh, a star. I want it. I want it. Mm, but I can't. I can't reach it. This would be so much better with Control VR. Okay. Um, yeah, I, it, there, he, he did this blog post, which I'll link in the description, which is really interesting, about how... Some people, when you ask them what you're supposed to do in a demo like this, their response is, well, you don't, you don't do anything. It's just there. 
And I don't think that he says that's not a good answer. And I, I kind of agree with that. You're not you're not doing nothing. You're not sitting there and going, Oh. Okay. Well then. You're you're looking around. The goal is it's and and he to put this into perspective, the way he compares it is like say say if you took your friend to the park to sit w sit on a park bench and watch the ducks. You you don't really expect your friend to say, "What do I do?" That that's silly. You're you're at the park. You watch the ducks with me. That's why we're here. And all you do is you look around. You enjoy the scenery. And we haven't had a lot of experiences before on on a lot of PC basic we haven't had a lot of video game experiences where there is no particular goal or challenge in mind other than to just enjoy your environment and and just chill and I think it's great that this this diorama space is expanding now before I wrap up here I want to also show you so I'm just sitting here in front of my in front of my normal desk in my normal chair and you know that works all right because we are sitting in a chair in the game but when he demos this at real exhibitions he uses an installation that is made out of uh, made out of multiple chairs kind of glued together along with the fan and everything and I at least want to show you what that installation looks like and I could do that uh, because he actually made a mini VR demo that allows you to walk around the installation and get a good look at it and and kind of see it the relative size of everything in it so, as much as I would like to hang out here and enjoy the star field, let's go ahead and jump out of their gross goat leap and go check out the installation. All right, here we are in the installation demo. I think this demo is actually really interesting in its own right. Uh, its main purpose is just to show you what the installation looks like. So, I'm using my Xbox 360 controller to move around. And there is our person, seated on top of the installation. Did I just walk over something? Whatever. And wearing the Oculus Rift, you can see that the wires from the Rift actually run all the way down to the bottom there. And down at the bottom is where, I believe under there is where his laptop lives. And it's, it's, it's actually driving uh, the, the Rift. Um, you can also put the... Oh, that's the power cord running over to the wall. And let's just read what this says here. The shoebox diorama presents Der Gross Gottlieb. So it has the fan standing behind. And uh, the purpose of the fan is both to provide white noise, which cancels out ambient noise if, in case your noise-canceling microphones are not good enough. And it also just provides that sensation of wind, like you're high up in the atmosphere. So. That's cool. I'd like to try this again with a fan sometime. Microphone. The microphone is down below. Captures the ambient sound, like I mentioned before. Pipes it in. Oculus Rift and headphones. Box with laptop and power socket. Where is that? Hmm. I thought the laptop was below. And feet won't touch a surface. So this is important because in the game, you're seated on this chair, which is balanced on top of other chairs, and your feet are not actually down on the ground. They're just kind of dangling. And um, I've, I've seen home setups where they do this by putting the chair up on a table. You could also just use a tall stool where your feet are dangling like that. Lots of ways to do it. And the idea is that um, this is... This is supposed to heighten the sensation that you're super high up in the air and and help you feel more afraid of the, the daunting height. And yeah, there's all the Twitter and Facebook and stuff for Daniel Ernst. So yeah, um, I think this, this installation VR demo is interesting in its own right, not just because it explains how it works, but also because it's it's interesting to me that engineering designs can be presented in this fully immersive way where I can tell, like, for example, that this is like this chair goes right up to like my my neck, uh, the the seated part of the chair. And I could tell that this guy is about the same size as me. And and I can I could just I have a really strong sense of scale for the installation that I would not get just from looking at photos of it. And although the photos are, of course, 
more realistic since they're photos of the actual real life installation this is this just feels like this feels like I could reach out and touch it it feels like I can tell just exactly how big it is and the relative position of everything in it and wander around and get a close look at it from all sides and it would be even better with positional tracking if I could really lean in and inspect it very carefully and I think in the future using VR to inspect engineering designs and art installations like this is going to be actually a big deal so I'm going to come out of this and talk about this demo for a bit So that was Der Gross Gottlieb, the Great Gottlieb. If you're wondering, that is German, which is kind of weird because the author is Dutch. I think it's just for style. And um, it's it's a really nice diorama. It's, there's, it's just like in the style of Blocked In. There's always animation going on, and it keeps going on forever. It's a place you can just hang out and enjoy the view. It's a place with a very majestic view of both the stars above and the world below you can see so far in it um, and and I, I like how that Daniel Ernst always does a good job of really taking advantage of stereoscopy to put a number of objects very close to you and a number of objects quite a bit farther away for you to watch um, in this case uh, in the original blocked in the only animation was going on in uh, going on outside the window uh, in this case the animation was going on with the 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 stuff blowing off the table and you could actually see them receding away from you as the letters blow into the world and I think that um, really con really convincingly uses the stereoscopic effect to its advantage in a way that blocked in didn't so I definitely think that um, I definitely think he's evolving um, not everyone is gonna like this as much as blocked in just because uh, blocked in is kind of more relevant to uh, you know classic video game fans and nostalgia like that uh, people who like Tetris um, but I, I think it's in, in many respects uh, technically superior and has a lot of innovations over Blocked In. And I'm really looking forward to what is going to uh, come out of Daniel Anderson in the future. This is a great demo. I'll definitely be using it again. That's all for today. And everybody have a great every day.